kids are much more familiar and much more comfortable in a neighborhood and in um, their friend's backyard with a trampoline or inside with Fortnite. We're approaching uh, the issue of having a generation that's growing up right now that has never walked a forest or put their hand in a cold stream or witnessed wildlife in its natural habitat, and that's a problem. And yet there are studies that highlight the benefits of nature, especially for children. Um, challenges to get them from the city and to nature, and, and once they're there, finding ways to get them to engage with the environment in a way that is meaningful, impactful, and memorable for them. Garvin Woodland Gardens is a 210-acre botanical garden nestled in the Washita Mountain Forest. It's a place for people of our community and our region to catch a glimpse and interact with the Washita Mountain Forest. Uh, the mission of Garvin Gardens, as it relates to children, is to simply provide a space where the wonders of nature can pique their curious minds. We also have amazing architectural elements in the garden. The Garvin Pavilion was designed by Faye Jones, and we also have the Anthony Chapel designed by Maurice Jennings, Faye Jones's uh, protege and partner. Uh, the tree house is a multi-storied building, room, space. It's really kind of defies uh, description. No one imagined a treehouse would look like it looks. Um, it took the idea of a treehouse and, and pretty much exploded it for most of us and then reformed it and recreated um, a new expectation for all of us about what this structure would be. You're looking at these ribs that, that connect above and below, kind of like uh, a snake's skeleton. So it has sort of a serpentine design. Uh, it's elevated. And what elevates it is not always obvious. So you're kind of looking around and seeing, okay, how is it floating? Is it in the trees? Is it attached to the trees? When we designed or when we worked with the architects, um, some of the words that we gave them kind of as design principles or guiding principles in their work were that we wanted it to be mysterious. We wanted it to float and to be organic. Those are big challenges for an architecture team. The one challenge uh, with the project has been, you know, the gardens had said, you know, we really want it to be mysterious. And so for us, when you think about a treehouse, you really think about that mystery of floating or how do you get up in it? Or where, where, where's the front, where's the back, where's the bottom, where's the top? Uh, the mystery becomes in the fact that, hey, it's suspended up in the trees. We have these bases that kind of hide themselves uh, amongst the forest floor. So that mystery and that excitement, and then you start to see all the wood shrouding the project, and you say, well, what's really holding it up? And it becomes these kind of steel ribs that reveal themselves through color and texture. Uh, and then you start to see that the, the thing truly does float. So. Well, I think that one of the, the coolest things about the design, quite frankly, is, is if, as you move, it changes constantly. Yeah. It's a constantly morphing piece, you know, floating yeah. in the air, and I think that that that's so dynamic in that form that there's there's almost no bad angle and um, there's always something to discover which I think is it's truly a chameleon <laughs> it's it's pretty cool yeah. yeah there is a fundamental understanding in architecture and design that we emerge from the natural environment and that without that deep seated understanding and awareness of the natural environment we are perhaps less than fully human that we only understand ourselves in relationship to nature. We need that relationship with nature in order to understand who we are, where we've come from, and where we're going. And I would argue that that is critical uh, in these days of increasing pressure upon our natural resources, increasing uh, shifts in the overall uh, climate of the world, uh, and very much uh, we understand this to be the value of uh, again, a child's appreciation of nature as experienced in the treehouse at Garvin Woodland Gardens. <laughs>